Hi, I'm Kylie here to show you the Remarkable LED Keeper, the only tool that can diagnose and help you repair holiday LED light sets. So let's fix a light set. First, take your dysfunctional light set and plug it into a power source to see if any sections of bulbs illuminate. We are using this defective red bulb for demonstration purposes. If there is a section of illuminated bulbs, then use one of these place markers in the kit and clip it to differentiate the working and non-working sections of lights so you'll know what section to focus on. Keep the other place marker handy, you'll need it later in the testing process. Unplug the light set from the power source and plug it directly into the LED keeper and do not have it connected to other light sets while testing. If your light set plug falls out of the LED keeper socket, you can slightly bend the prongs of the light set plug inwards, like this. We will start testing at about the halfway point in the non-working section. Pick a bulb in this area. We will be concentrating on the wire either going into or out of that bulb. If we use the other wires on the light set, it would not harm the light set, the tool, or the user, but the testing simply won't work. Place the wire within the black hook at the tip of the LED keeper. The LED keeper's pin must make a solid connection with the copper inside the light set's wire insulation. You might prefer to flip the tool for testing so you can easily see the wire placement. Once the wire is seated within the black hook, firmly pull the trigger to illuminate the functional section. If nothing illuminates after the trigger is pulled, move to another location about half an inch away for a new piercing attempt. Now you'll see the functional bulbs on the set. Looking at this newly lit section, take the other place marker and clip it to the end of this section. Continue testing and illuminating sections until you find a bulb where the LED keeper illuminates all of the bulbs to the right and all of the bulbs to the left of the questionable bulb. If the bulbs are removable, take this bulb out using the bulb puller and test it using the bulb tester. To use the tester, place the bulb's wires firmly on the bulb tester's metal contacts. The LED bulbs only illuminate in one direction, so a bulb may need to be tested two ways to confirm the bulb's functionality. If a bulb will not illuminate in the tester, use replacement bulbs specifically designed for that set. If the failed bulb is not replaceable, or we find the socket is the culprit, this is where the non-illuminating replacement pods included in your kit come in. The pods are necessary to maintain the electrical balance throughout the LED set, and here's why. You might want to simply cut out the bulb socket and solder the wires together. This is not a fix. It's a temporary solution that will cause the light set to prematurely fail. Each bulb on a light set takes in its fair share of voltage. If you cut one out, the voltage meant for that bulb burdens the remaining good bulbs, wearing down their lifespan at a quicker rate. Now, let's look inside one of the pods. You'll notice a small beige piece on one side. This is a resistor. Since the pod will not illuminate, the resistor enables the pod to act like a bulb and avoid wearing down the lifespan of your light set. Just a reminder, as we go to replace a bulb socket with one of the pods, we are working with electricity, and safety is our highest priority. Our first step before doing anything is to unplug the LED light set from everything. It should not be plugged into a power source or other light sets. Next, using a pair of scissors, cut the wires leading in and out of the defective bulb socket. Take the cap off the replacement pod. Open the base unit. Place the two wires we had cut into the metal slots like this. The wires should not touch each other. The wire placement is important, so take your time as you are installing the pod. Now you can close the pod and twist the cap back on. Sometimes you will find the questionable bulb has three wires in total leading in and out of it. Two of the three wires will come out of one side of the bulb socket. Once the two wires have been identified, these two wires need to be kept together throughout the entire process. 
That third wire will be dealt with separately. With the light set unplugged, cut the two wires that are going to be kept together. Cut as close to the bulb socket as possible. You need to strip the insulation a bit in order to reveal more of the copper on the ends of the wire. Then twist the copper wire together to create one wire. Next, cut that third wire from the bulb, getting rid of that faulty bulb or socket. This wire should not be stripped. Now you are working with two wires. One wire will go into one metal channel, while the other two that have been combined should be seated in the opposite metal V channel. You need to have the two connected wires on top of one another, which will make closing the pod a bit tougher. Consider using pliers to assist you or something of the sort. After the wires are set and the pod is sealed with the cap, your LED light set is now ready to use. You can purchase more replacement pods at our website, ledkeeper.com. As you use your LED keeper more often, the pin within the LED keeper may become worn, which could prevent it from properly piercing the insulation of a light set that we're trying to test. See our pin assembly video for instructions. Another cause of LED light set failure is the current limiting pod, which is often built into the light set. They look like this and cannot be replaced with the LED keeper replacement pods. If the current limiting pod is the issue, the LED keeper cannot assist any further than to help pinpoint the problem. The light set can be repaired if you can secure another current limiting pod meeting the specifications of your light set. To ensure this, you will need to check with your light set's manufacturer. You will know if the current limiting pod is the issue if you test your light set with the LED keeper and find that all of the bulbs illuminate while testing. However, once the light set is plugged into a power source, nothing illuminates. If you have several additional sets of the same type, you may consider sacrificing one for its bulbs or current limiting pod to get the other set fully functional. For example, the inventor of the LED keeper would take 11 failed light sets and use one as a sacrificial lamb to make 10 good sets. The LED keeper only fixes series design holiday light sets, therefore it cannot fix LEDs with a control box, low voltage LEDs, battery operated sets, and LED rope lights. The LED keeper cannot help with most pre-lit LED trees because most are wired in a low voltage parallel design. Watch as I pull out a bulb. The set remains lit. The reason is this tree is wired in a low voltage parallel wired design. We recommend visual inspections for pre-lit trees as broken wires are often the cause of failure for this item. If you need assistance, LED Keeper technicians are available to answer questions and ready to assist you. Technicians are actually available seven days a week between Thanksgiving and Christmas or year round during normal business hours. Call 888 Ulta Lit. Additionally, you can write to the pros at inform at ultalit.com. From all of us at Ultalit Technologies, we wish you a very merry and bright Christmas.